Alright, the idea of enlisting in the Navy has been in my mind. It's been like like an idea of my head for the longest, like since 2000, the year 2000. And that's when I first met like a, a naval officer by the name of Stanley A. Taylor. He's my scout leader. And I respected and admired the man a lot. I, he explained his history of like how he's a part of, like like how he is like in, in some sort of, uh, like how he first joined, he was 16. And, and he was a, like in the midst of like World War II or something. Or was it Vietnam? Wait. 16, 19, 29, I, mean, I think that's when he was born. Yeah, it had to be World War II, 1945. It was like how he was in the middle of that. And, yeah. I admire the guy a lot. The only thing I kind of like the scare to is the enlisting in the Navy was like his tales of war or something like how he he almost got shot by being on un, field or something when he's like a teenager. That's when he first enlists. I think he lived there in Baltimore or Annapolis his entire life and decided just to get in the military. I, I He had like a mark at that <laughs> That demonstrated like like how he was brazed by a bullet or something. But I'm like, shit, I don't know if I want to get in the Navy. But i uh, being like a guy getting some other stuff. Like, and this time I was interested in like, like, Clinton Singh type of things. Like, pretending I was like 007 or something as a kid. And when I first met Mr. Taylor, uh, I, I, it was like, I, I, it was like a, a preteen, like, probably 10 to 12. Like, nothing happened, just saying, like, you know, like how I meet people throughout my life. So, yeah, it's been inspired to become like a, like, I don't know, like, like I always, like, thought of the Army in regard to the military stuff. They didn't know that was, like, a Marines, or what was the difference between like, the Army and Marines. Uh, I knew there was a Navy, but I wasn't quite sure what they actually do in the Navy. And the Air Force, of course. Uh, yeah, I knew about that, but thought like training for that would be like extensive and like rigorous and hard or difficult. But yeah, but I mean the Navy. I don't know. I wasn't too keen or I, I, like wasn't too knowledgeable of like what what it is they were basically about. So I thought like just done nothing but like I, I don't know, I used to think the Navy was like the Coast Guard as a kid. So the guy he like provided some hypothetical like some type of clarity of like what they actually do in the Navy and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like Wow, I'll keep that in mind whenever I like become the age of majority or grow up. You know? Right like when I'm eighteen. Now that I'm over the age of 18, I was still waiting in the military option uh, when I was 18 some years ago. Uh, still interested in joining the Navy. You know? I put it this way, as a kid, from teenage, like, from from childhood to preteen to teenage years to currently now, like, teenage years, I, that, that's like the, the, the portion of my life where I deeply was interested in a lot of like careers and, and professions but not I I still wait in the the idea of joining the Navy. I'm like like in a teenage year that's when I'm in high school trying to decide if I get if I would to make it in college, what do I want to take up? Which will then lead to which career I could attain later after college, post college. Which major will likely help me get this sort of degree to apply to this particular career field in our interest or profession. You know, like, I, I, that's how I was in, like, my teenage years. Just obsessed with the idea of, like, this thing and, and, and uh, just uh, making it to college and then, like, I, like, you know, earning a bachelor's or whatever type of degree there is. Oh, man, I, I come on, think. Uh, 
shit. Like, you know, like, say if I wanted to be a lawyer. Like, like if I had that idea in, in, in high school or something. Like, man, in order to become a lawyer, I have to like, get into law school. But before you get into law school, because law school is nothing more than post-grad school and all, you know, uh, you, you have to, like, go to uh, regular universities or colleges and get your uh, bachelor's or something. You know, and then like in these colleges, the the op paralegal or pre law in English, and then uh, what else? It's good for a lawyer. And public relations, I think. You know, even though that sounds like sounds like it'll be like irrelevant to like what what a lawyer's job is and all. Uh, you know, you're still dealing with like the public, and I. Uh, confined setting called the courtroom and all, you know, it's like you're trying to promote your idea as to whatever it is pertaining your case, you know, or if I was a doctor, like you got pre-med, like med school is still like post-grad school, it's like post-college, so before then you still have to like attend like a university or a college or whatever, like, uh, you got pre-med, that's biology, you know, like biology plays well within like uh, medicine. Because medicine deals with life. And biology is the study of life. And the basics of life. Uh, what else? Pre med, you have biology, you have English. You know, you could take up something else if you want to be like a, a multilingual person and all. Like, say if you were like made into like med school and graduated and became a doctor. You, know? and you come across patients. Or like of different nationalities or an ethnicities and all, you know, like and you're accustomed to like uh, the basis of their culture or something. You, know? you can like better relate with them as a doctor, as to whatever, you know. Or what, what else? I was interested. Like public relations, it's like advertisement and marketing and business management, like like a, a variety of things. Like like in college. Like how I was thinking in high school could be applied to that. Like if I made it to a college after high school, or or uh, in my late teen years into early twenties, like now, I was like projecting like like me being in college at this moment without realizing I had problems I wasn't aware of, which are likely interfere with such. Uh, I don't know. I was too busy trying to study and, and, and yet not acknowledge I, I had problems. <laughs> I wasn't even, I didn't even know it present, you know. And burgers, sleeping, pills, needles, it's okay. But yeah, like like public relations, like in college, I, uh, you know, like a variety of things could like play within that. You know, it's that, that deals with marketing and, and advertisement. And marketing, you, you can, you, like, with marketing, you can either have, like, a, a, a bachelor's of science or bachelor's of arts type of degree, like, with in business management or business administration. It, it same applies with, like, public relations. You know? I don't know. Like, how I was thinking. Like, how do you get into P PR? public relations and then uh, I think there's like a degree in marketing you know it's like a, 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 a definite core major there and all like marketing public relations and marketing <clears throat> business management English creative writing if you're like in an advert department of it you know like like people who are like a part of advertisement are somewhat like like very important to like the uh, entertainment industry and in fact advertisement itself is nothing more than like short entertainment you know like most commercials are entertaining or trailers like most movies which utilize creative writing or production or whatnot uh rely on like uh public relations in order to like be known that there's just a movie that's premiering or something right I don't know, like, they're, they're all, like, two sides of the same coin type of thing. That's how I was thinking. 
Like even musicians need public relations. You know, like an album art or album cover, album cover, it's like its own self PR. You know? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying. Like that's what I was thinking. And then hey, if I ever branch or just leave the the notion of like working on commercials or public relations or marketing, I could probably jump into this like other entertainment field, which is quite similar. Like, like say if I was a writer for like like uh, an advertisement firm, you know, and, and I decided to like apply my writing to something else, like a video game company or uh, or or like some sort of movie plays, you know, or trying to sell a script or something. Like for a TV show or a movie, I, I don't know. Like it's wishful thinking, but like you know, I don't know. Like that's how I thought. Like you could probably play into a whole marketing PR thing, and twice kind of interested in it. You know, like I could just branch off the other stuff. I don't know. It's kind of like thinking like Conan O'Brien. Like how he's originally a writer for The Simpsons, and then he like became like a a writer for a late show, like, like, like talk shows, or, or he became like a, a, a producer or a TV talk show host, who probably likely written his own materials as well as had like a team of writers or whatnot, right? Like he like branched off or cross platform or something. I don't know. I'm going way off the topic of why I went on list of the Navy. I'm just sprint like like the, the navy is like one of many career interests I had as like a teenager or a kid or a preteen, you know. No preteen teenager no adult, teenager, preteen, then kid or a child. You know, like I've been interested in like trying to <laughs> have a career ever since I was like we ate. Like, man, I need an awesome job that you're on. I'm not aware of problems. I don't care. But yeah, like I'm highly considered in the Navy now. Like, you know, it's like I've gotten a major reality check. Like, uh, how I thought things would play out as a teenager, and quite so go out as to play. But the Navy still seems like a, a concrete, definite, uh, definitive option at all. And all I need to do is make sure I pass basic training and I'm in. That's it, right? Like, you know, like. Say if like I had in mind of like working like a basic job that pays like like like, like seven dollars an hour or something like like a Burger King in order to just go attend college or to pay rent, not living in a dorm while in some type of schooling or not or college. You know, it pretty much plays into like that notion. Like you still make the same amount in the Navy, but in the Navy you don't have any like extra expenses like. Food, rent, or like any SS billing or something, you know, miscellaneous billing. In fact, it's like you have more money, and plus you're mainly in uniform, so that you won't be like splurging money on different clothing items. Or not. I don't know. Right now, I kind of have like a, a routine, uh, a clothing routine of, of managing different clothing. I don't know. I, I I'm just saying the Navy. It's like like a very cool option there, man. And plus, you get training while you're in the Navy. So it's like you're basically living your ideas to like having a basic job as well as getting some type of hands-on uh, skill enhancements, like like developing your skill sets. Except if I want to like learn stuff based upon like communications and navigation, it's stated over and over again. Like, you can actually learn that in the Navy because the Navy actually utilizes those things and they need people there in the Navy who, who have such skills and then you can develop those skills in the Navy to put it to use in the Navy which is like going to college in the Navy and then and you get paid in the process for a basic job whereas you can then save and conserve your money and all so that you can like possibly like uh, do more with whatever you've accumulated in regards to savings. I don't know. I'm just very interested in the Navy, and it's about to go to that. I think the time on here is 15 minutes. I'll just start recording right now.